Who do you trust to actually get it done? Is Elizabeth Edwards was often direct and to the point, even about the illness which today took her life. You really have two choices here. I mean, either you push forward with the things that you were doing yesterday, or you start dying. That seems to me your only two choices. We are very optimistic. She pushed this. forward for uh, six years through several campaigns for high office, through a recurrence of the illness, and through her husband's infidelity. There are days when, you know, everybody who's I think, probably either been through what I've been through in my marriage or been through, what, been through with disease or lost somebody they care about have days when they, you know, just pull the covers right back up over their sure. heads and, uh, and stay put. She died this morning at her home in Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Doctors had told her further treatment would be unproductive, but held out the hope she had maybe a few weeks more. It was not to be. And in a statement a short time ago, the Edwards family said, Today we have lost the comfort of Elizabeth's presence, but she remains the heart of this family. And it was her family, her two daughters, her son, and her estranged husband, John, who were with her at the end. We love her, the family statement continued, and we'll never know anyone more inspiring or full of life. She could be difficult, and she was headstrong, behind the scenes or center stage. But the important traits her admirers recalled this afternoon, passionate, inspirational, courageous, eclipsed all others and were on display for years, especially as her death drew closer. During her illness, she somehow found time to write two best-selling books about her life and her struggles. I'm actually hoping that's one of the things that this discussion will fix, that people will see that, uh, that you're not necessarily dying of cancer, but that you can also live with cancer, and that uh, uh, and you can live full lives, concentrate on, on the things that matter to you. Uh, we're all going to die, uh, and I pretty much know what I'm going to die of uh, now, but I, but I do, uh, do want to live uh, uh, as full and normal a life as I can from this point on. Dean Reynolds, CBS News. President Obama said today he and the First Lady are deeply saddened by the passing of Elizabeth Edwards. He said she'd reveal the kind of fortitude and grace that will long remain a source of inspiration.